Siege peasy. Okay, and welcome. Today is the start of our diner series, where we'll be making a full diner scene. Today we're making the bar stool. So we start off with a cylinder, squash it down, and delete the faces on either end. Select the loop cut at the bottom and extrude it inwards, and then grid fill. And then select the loop cut at the top, extrude that inwards, and then lift it just a little bit. Then we extrude that loop cut until you get the length of the pole that holds the top of your stool. And to make the stool at the top do exactly the same, extrude the loop cuts outwards and upwards and inwards until you have a nice comfy place for your cushion to sit. Okay, and now it's time to make the chrome indents on the side of the stool. So on the side of the stool, add six loop cuts, then select the loop cuts in between and scale them inwards. Then test out the subdivision surface modifier, and I'm not happy with that. I want the rings around the outside to have straighter corners. So we'll cross off the subdivision surface modifier, and we'll add more loop cuts to the edges, where we want there to be sharper corners. Now when we test the subdivision surface modifier again, you can see that the rings around the stool have much sharper corners. Okay, let's come back to the bottom of the stool for a second. We'll add in a couple of loop cuts, and make this little shape at the bottom almost like the stool is slotting into it. Now add some loop cuts to the bottom of the stool to give it a bit of a curve. And once again, test the subsurface modifier out and sharpen the corners where you need to. And once you're happy with that and got everything looking the way you want it to, it's time to come to the top of the stool and make a support for the seat. To do this, do exactly the same as you did at the bottom. Add some extra loop cuts, scale them outwards until you get a little cone shape. Then add a few more loop cuts, and give the support at the top a little curve like you did to the bottom of the stool. Then add whatever loop cut you need to sharpen the corners again and add the final subdivision surface modifier and shade smooth. Now it's time to add the footrest. For this, we need to add a torus and click on the little menu on the left so you can reshape it to the size you need. And add another cylinder in to create the supports to hold it. When the support is in place, set the origin to the 3D cursor and duplicate the rest of the supports. It's finally time for the comfy leather cushion. This is just made with a UV sphere that's been cut in half, shaped and put in place. Now to make the material for the main stool, just turn the roughness to zero and put the metallic on full. And maybe change the color to a light shade of gray. And finally, use the Node Wrangler to add the leather texture that I found on AmbienCG.com to the cushion of the bar stool. Now it's finally time to finish up the scene. Add yourself in an HDRI, make the background transparent, and add in an infinity wall for you to render your stool. And that, my friends, is... CHPZ!